The Palestinians who say Alhamdulillah for everything. Their mom died, Alhamdulillah. Their dad died, Alhamdulillah. Their sister died, Alhamdulillah. They lost their house, Alhamdulillah. They lost their job, Alhamdulillah. They say Alhamdulillah after everything. They are thankful for everything, yet they have nothing. And we here are living in our fancy houses, driving our fancy cars. And we're sad because we don't have the new iPhone 15, we just have the 14. I literally, I just feel bad, honestly. Reason being is because a lot of us, including myself, actually starting with myself, bro, we're not, we're not grateful. We're not grateful. Like, okay, well, let's say you lose your job. Let's say you lose your livelihood. Some people, you still have a place to stay at night. You're still, do you know what I mean? You're still warm. Winter's coming, winter's coming. And the people of Gaza do not have anything. Wallahi, winter's coming. The pictures and videos I've seen of kids running around in rubble with no shoes. Imagine now it's a blackout and they don't have no, literally nothing to wear. And it's cold. Wallahi, winter's actually coming, it's freezing. It's gonna be like, it's gonna, get, it's gonna be one of the worst humanitarian, it already is the worst humanitarian crisis right now. And it's gonna get worse because it's winter. Like, I know, listen, I know I'm not a perfect person and I know I don't really talk about this on my socials, but it's just, it's wallahi it's sad. Honestly, guys, this is for me first as well. If we really care about Gaza, try to like wake up Fajr. If you can't do Fajr prayers, like go Isha pray in the masjid, like. Like every Isha and Maghrib and Duhur and Asr. Uh, not Duhur and Asr, I think Maghrib and Isha, they're doing prayers for Gaza. And if you're not going to pay money, if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're already protesting, like pray man, make some dua for them. Because wallahi, I, I'm cold, I'm cold right now. And I'm wearing a jacket and I'm just walking and I'm cold. Like imagine then they have, they will have nothing the next couple, they have nothing in winter man. I know I'm just sh shouting in your ear and stuff, but this is just a reminder to myself first and foremost, because wallahi, we have to think about this man. Just, you might think your prayers are not, like they might not mean anything, but they do, they do. Like make dua, pray. Pray for these people, man. Honestly, some of the videos that I've seen and I've been reposting over the last couple of weeks, it's just, it's horrible. It's, ac it's absolutely horrible, man. And if we don't think about them first, or if we're not even grateful at the opportunity and the type of life that we have right now, like, then what are you doing? What are we doing? Like, honestly, what are we ever, ever complaining about? Wallahi, we should never, never, ever be complaining at all. Like, just say Alhamdulillah, man. Just say Alhamdulillah for what you have, bro. By watching the amount of faith in Iman and God that these people in Gaza have, we should be learning a huge life lesson. We are so spoiled. Allah has granted us so many incredible blessings that we haven't even shown gratefulness for. You have children in Gaza who have lost their entire family. Their entire home has been turned into concrete ruins. You have fathers in Gaza who are putting the remains of their children limb by limb into a plastic bag. Mothers who are holding their martyred sons who are wrapped in white cloth and saying, please send my salam to the Prophet wasallam." This. This is the faith in the Iman of a Muslim. These people have lost everything and still they say, Hasbin Allah wa Na'man Wakil. Allah suffices me. Allah is enough for me. The blessing of even being aware of Allah, the blessing of seeing, the blessing of speaking, of hearing, of smelling, these blessings that we take for granted. We sit in the comfort of our houses with our nice cars, our telephones, our chargers, our comfortable beds, with food in our fridges, grocery stores down the street, with friends restaurants we have all of these blessings that we have completely taken for granted if we learn one thing from the people of Palestine it is to be grateful for the blessings of Allah some of us are privileged enough to still have two parents who are alive on this earth a mother and a father who love us and we don't even respect them or treat them properly you know there's Palestinian children who have their legs and their arms completely dismembered for the rest of their lives because of Israeli airstrikes just a few hours ago a Palestinian girl was admitted into a 
hospital in Gaza. Due to the Israeli airstrikes, she has gone completely blind. But she didn't know that she was blind. She thought it was just debris covering her eyes. And she was asking the doctor to wipe it off for her. And the doctor didn't even have the ability to tell this girl that she is going to be blind for the rest of her life. We, alhamdulillah, have two eyes, two arms, two legs, but we can't even get up to pray five times a day. Allahi, we are so, so privileged. And if we continue to forget to be grateful for the blessings of Allah, we will become rotten to the core. As you continue speaking up for what is happening in Gaza, take these people's lives as a lesson. These are people of courage and bravery, people with true iman and faith. These Palestinians may be poor in this dunya, but they are rich in akhirah. These Palestinians may have lost their houses and their families, but they have gained a connection with Allah that is more worthy than anything we have in this world. If you are watching what is happening in Palestine and you are feeling an overwhelming sense of guilt, turn that guilt into gratitude, into thankfulness for Allah. Turn your guilt for having a full cooked meal, a roof over your head, into blessings from Allah. Say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And most importantly, keep making dua. Allah is the only one who can grant victory and relief to the people of Gaza.